In Thailand, where the rapid spread of the Delta variant is making it more likely pandemic restrictions will be extended, more than a thousand protesters are on the streets demanding the prime minister's resignation. Frustrations are mounting over the government's handling of outbreaks and the damage COVID control measures have inflicted on the economy. The country reported a record of nearly 22,000 new infections Saturday and more than 200 deaths, the highest yet. Demonstrators marching to the office of the prime minister were forced back with tear gas and rubber bullets. People aren't getting vaccines, this protester says. We don't have jobs and income, so we have no choice but to protest. Some 6% of Thailand's population has been fully vaccinated, according to Johns Hopkins University. In the nation where Delta first emerged, 500 million COVID doses have now been administered. Still, just 8% of India's population of 1.3 billion is double vaxxed. The Indian Prime Minister urging people to roll up their sleeves, saying the vaccines are effective and safe. And a landmark moment for the U.S. as that country surpassed 50% of the population fully vaccinated. But the battle is ongoing. Data from Johns Hopkins shows the seven-day average for new U.S. cases has surpassed 100,000, a level not seen since the winter. The key here is to stay at home and get vaccinated. About 15 million people in the three largest Australian states are living under strict stay-at-home orders as the number of coronavirus cases surges. But the premier of one hard-hit state says the latest round of lockdowns is struggling to stamp out Delta. The circuit breaker in New South Wales and in Sydney is for people to comply with the rules. Pretty simple. In neighbouring Victoria State, officials blame a slow vaccination rollout for leaving many exposed. This Delta variant spreads so fast. This will go where the vaccine isn't. We don't have enough people vaccinated. Our system will be overrun if we don't bring this under control. About 17% of Australia's population of more than 25 million has received both shots. Karen Seolin, City News.